Okay, part two, Mariah, we're about to kick into the flower essence hologram for you. That was Jacaranda. The colour, you know, in our, in our clinic down in Edith Street that was in my office. So my office was the exact colour of Jacaranda because I wanted to feel focused and switched on when I was in my office. Not in the clinic room, my office behind the reception. And I think there was another purple room as well that was, this, I had a couple of purples in there. That were the colours of different flower essence energies that we wanted to pop in there. In Edith Street? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, in the first one, Florence Street. Florence, yeah. So there's kidney energy going on. So that's the first coordinate for the tuning forks. So it's kidney liver. So let's have a look what that combo is. So this will be what's underneath not feeling clear-headed and quick thinking. Because there's always something underneath our stresses, you know, until we get back to our, our core, something core. So let's have a look. So kidney liver, the combination release, connects to another flower essence called Desert Alchemy. And Desert Alchemy, the flower, es the flower essence is called Desert Joint Fur. Yeah, right, and that's pretty interesting. So it's very, very similar to the Australian jacaranda energy, but this is the American uh, desert joint fur, and I might be saying that wrong, but it's about inability to escape damaging situations, feeling ennoble, immobilized, and innate resources. So we lose our ability to know what we know. We lose our ability to access survival patterns. We lose our ability to problem solve and get out of situations. So therefore we become defeatists. We, be, we start to blame ourselves. We start to create, not consciously, but emotional pain in our body because the more we have that emotional pain, the more we can hold ourselves back and then we don't make a decision to move forward. And then we end up keeping ourselves where we are, which may be in pain, but it's better than the unknown pain that we don't know yet. So we need to do two levels of that, transcending and dissolving, and then the positive. So what do we need? Do we just need to do the eighth chakra? Do we need to do either of these these tuning forks? So we really need to just focus down here on the eighth chakra for this with the tuning forks. I take responsibility for my attitudes and now choose to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively transcend my inability to escape damaging situations, my immobilized will and innate resources, my lack of direction, self-blame and defeatism into all-encompassing love. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively increase my in my I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively increase my ability to handle the stresses of life, choose a direction for my life, and move forward with confidence. I take responsibility for my attitudes and now choose to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively dissolve my inability to escape damaging situations, my lack of direction and defeatism, my self-blame and emotional pain into all-encompassing love. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively increase my ability to handle the stresses of life, choose a direction for my life and move forward with confidence.
I might just quickly check your figure eight energies as well because Jacaranda and Desert Joint Fur, they sounded very, very similar to me energetically. So just in case we need to, I'll pop some flower essences on your, in your auric space. And hold. <laughs> no. Okay. So where do we need to go? Is it here? Hold. No. Is it here? Hold. Yep. Is it here? Hold. Right. So it's the chest. So in energy, you can imagine all our major chakras are down through here. It's not the head and it's not the, the legs. And we've just sorted out the eighth chakra. So it's this little energy in here. And hold. So let's see where we need to go. Do we need to go this way? Do we need to go this way? So we need to go this direction. Do we need to go that or that? So we need to do a lazy eight on the, on the torso. But the torso, there's a whole bunch of that fight, flight, freeze energy in there because this whole area is about protection. So when we're protecting, we're like this. So we need to calm that down. So jacaranda energy in combination with figure eight energy. And now make decisions quickly and easily. I connect to my higher self easily. I choose to problem solve with the help of my higher self. energetically connected to my higher self. I am love, I am loved, I am lovable. I am love, I am loved, I am lovable. Beautiful. Okay. And hold. And hold. Excellent. And hold, and let's double check those uh, jacaranda affirmations as well. The affirmation at the beginning of that is the shortest way to do many things is to only do one thing at a time. I always thought being a multitasker was a good thing. It absolutely is not the longer I, the older I get. <laughs> oh dear. I make decisions quickly and easily. And hold. Beautiful. I am now clear headed and quick thinking. And hold. Beautiful. Now let's see where those gates are from earlier on. See whether we're starting to get more balance down through the feet. So just in the clear. Yeah, so that's beautifully balanced now. So I'll pull Renergy's head back into the equation. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. And this was out by about two centimetres. Yeah fraction quarter of an inch or so so very very tiny okay okay so what's that oh and let's go also check the deep hidden survival pattern and hold and that's also clear so where do we need to go next can we start delving into the uh, family shenanigans at the moment okay so we can so once again, once again, I might stop and start again, Mariah, uh, just in case this one uh, speaks to you.